Hi, I'm Dr. Elliot Adam from ElliotOracle.com. I'm also the author of the best-selling Fearless Tarot and Tarot in Love, Consulting the Cards in Matters of the Heart. And if you appreciate my empowering approach to tarot, you're going to get a lot out of those books. So check them out online. And they're also available on my website, ElliotOracle.com. I have signed copies available there. And it is time for this week's Oracle Reveal. So yesterday on Instagram, I placed up a photo of three Three different animals and I asked you to use your intuition and ask yourself which, which animal is calling to you because that animal has your message. And the three animals were the gorilla, the snow leopard, and the mountain goat. So if you're just joining me now, ask yourself which animal is getting caught in your head. It doesn't have to be your favorite animal, it just has to be the one that kind of uh, gets stuck in your mind because that animal has your message. For those of you who picked the gorilla, this card says take time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially your family members. And gorillas are known for their really strong family ties, their strong community groups. And what gorilla could be telling you this next week is that sometimes listening is more important than telling or saying. A lot of times when we are told to communicate with people, we forget about the listening part. We have something important to say, and we might be bulldozing over those that are around us that might need to be heard. So Gorilla tells you not to underestimate the power of sometimes really tuning into what a person is saying and also smiling at them, also inviting them to open up, not half listening, not being on your phone while they're trying to tell you something, but really being present. This can really have a profound impact on people. And it may not be that you're going to solve their problems for them, but they at least will feel heard. So first card for Gorilla is where it's best for you to place your focus this next week. And we get the Two of Cups reversed, which is very interesting because for me, this is a card of communication. And when it comes up reversed, it can indicate that there might be some confusion in communication or miscommunication. We got that wand of Mercury, the messenger god, in between the two figures on the card. And the lion that was once at the top of the card is now at the base of the card. And what this says is that there's going to be some sensitive individuals around you this next week. And they may be really quick to roar or to feel angry or even to defend their pride. And I think with that gorilla message, two of cups reverse could say the component that you're really needing in your communication this next week is listening. It is really just kind of uh, bypassing the other person's touchiness or anger or whatever they might be upset about in order to really tune into what's beneath it. And I just think with two of cups reversed, it's important to go deeper in your communication this next week. So really be present, really tune in. This card can also say that something needs to be compromised through this next week. So it's not all your way and it's not all the other person's way, but you're kind of finding that middle ground. Uh, the second card is advice from your inner wisdom this next week, and we actually get the Seven of Swords reversed. And this is a card that can sometimes be one where it feels like luck is changing. It feels like something is... Um, kind of not consistent right now, or that something is uh, going to be like it was going a certain way at one time, and now it's going completely in a different direction. And so I just think with that Seven of Swords reversed, um, it's saying to be flexible and adaptable. And especially, I think it's like you're needing to listen to somebody who's going through a bad patch of luck, or their situation might be a little bit uh, frightening for them. And tuning in and really listening to them is going to be really helpful for them to work out how to get a grip on the situation that's in front of them. So I just kind of feel some upside down energy with loved ones, especially for the gorilla this next week. And you're going to want to really be there for those other individuals and, and listen to what they have to say. And the mythic archetype that's going to help you if you pick the gorilla is Pan. And he's the god of nature, of the woods. He's also the god of freedom. He plays the pan pipes and he brings the nymphs in to dance. There could be some joy that can result from someone unburdening what's really bothering them this next week. So I just feel like with Gorilla, this is going to be a time where you're really going to be tested in your communication skills, also your listening skills, but also you're going to be helping people navigate what they might be per per uh, perceiving as bad luck or something that's against them, and instead finding that way to empower them. Next, we're going to go into the Snow Leopard, and this card says, take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. 
And snow leopard is that solitude creature. It's very mysterious. And this could be a time when you're really kind of going to the cold, icy places in your own heart. You know, water in the tarot represents feelings and emotions, and snow uh, especially represents that frozen feeling, that frozen emotion that maybe it's time to tune into. It's time to listen to it. And sometimes that work is best done alone. So unlike the gorilla animal spirit, which is all about uh, community and connecting and listening, Snow Leopard is telling you also to have that balance where you're withdrawing, retreating, and really listening to that all-important voice that's within your own heart so that you really know what to do next. First card for Snow Leopard is where it's best to place your focus this next week, and we actually get the Three of Pentacles, which for me is a card of learning and education. Um, the Three of Pentacles is saying you're on a lesson right now in your life, you're stuck on a lesson that you might be finding yourself repeating. And instead of just running out into the world and doing the same thing over and over and expecting that different result, I really think that this time is one of retreating and reflecting and really looking at, well, what needs to change? What really needs to happen here? What am I transforming in my life? And so I feel with that Three of Pentacles energy, it's time to learn the lesson and it's time to graduate from what that lesson's teaching you. The advice from your inner wisdom is actually the Knight of Swords, which is like I was saying, he's just hacking and slashing and going out into the world. He's trying to accomplish, he's trying to do, and he's trying to outrun the lesson. He's trying to outrun where he's at. He's trying to accomplish and achieve so that he just gets this part over with. And I feel for Snow Leopard that this is a time where you can't rush through this lesson. It's not like you can say, wake me up in nine months when all this is over and then I can get on with things. It's like you really need to live this one. And the mythic archetype that's going to help you if you pick the Snow Leopard, much like that Knight of Swords energy is Ares, the god of war. Both of these figures are sometimes overly aggressive. They're sometimes pushing so far ahead. They just want to see action and movement. And yet that Three of Pentacles energy is saying the importance of reflection right now, really learning about where you're at, being present with yourself. I just feel like you need to pick your battles this next week if you pick the Snow Leopard. And also with these aggressive cards, I almost feel like don't engage. Don't engage with people that are aggressive or belligerent or they're not listening. And you know what? Just take a step back. Uh, it's going to be so much more important if you just follow that old lesson of silence is golden. And then finally, we got the mountain goat animal spirit. And this card says there's something out of balance in your life. So do whatever you need to do to correct it. And the mountain goat keeps its balance up in the mountain. So this could be a time when you're really kind of securing your footing. Um, first card for mountain goat is where it's best to place your focus right now. And we actually get the wheel of fortune reversed. And much like that three of pentacles card, when I think of a wheel that goes in reverse, it goes backwards. This is a time where you're revisiting something that's been out of balance for quite some time. And you might be correcting, course correcting. You might be going back to that part of your life that felt out of balance before and attending to it, fixing it, and really getting your footing more sure. Also, this is just kind of a crazy week, I think, for all three animals where there's just this unexpected energy. It's just like, whoa, where did that come from? And you're needing to adapt and adjust to it instead of getting bent out of shape. So tune inward, check within, try to get your own bearings before you just go out into the world and try to fix it. Uh, the next card is going to be advice from your inner wisdom. And there she is again, uh, a frequent visitor on our Oracle Reveal with the High Priestess. And the high priestess is telling you to find your center. A lot of times we're on the outside of the wheel. We're going up and down with these external things we don't have control over. We're getting triggered. And the high priestess is inviting you to the hub of the wheel, the center of the wheel, which is a symbol for your center. And from that wise place, you're in that eye of the storm. And all this crazy can go on around you and you're not going to be swept up into it. And finally, the mythic archetype that's going to help you this next week is Atropos, who we also see. She's the fate who cuts the thread of life. She's seen that a chapter is ending. It's time to stop repeating something. It's time to stop revisiting this thing. It's coming to a head. This might also be a time when you're dealing with endings that are challenging or difficult. However, if you approach them from that inner transcendent wisdom, you're going to know exactly how to handle it and you'll respond beautifully. And that is this week's Oracle. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you want to schedule a reading with me, go to elliotoracle.com. Otherwise, I will see you here every week. So do take care and have a great day.